Hello, this is the third screencast in how to use rubrics inside of Moodle. The first one I showed you how to set up an assignment to use a rubric for grading and how to construct the rubric in Moodle. In the second screencast, I showed you how the teacher uses the rubric uh, for grading, how it records the grade, and how you can alter the points. In this third screencast, uh, I'll show you that uh, Moodle allows you to reuse a, a rubric once you've entered it so you don't have to go through all the bother of typing it twice or three times or multiple times. So here's how we do that. So once again, I'm in my Moodle site. I have to turn the editing on because I have to add another activity. So we're going to add the assignment activity. Let's add that. Okay. So let's call it uh, rubric demo 2. And there's the description. That's optional. Turn off the availability. This I'll use an online text. I'm not going to really do anything with it. What I'm interested in, though, is the grading once again. So let's open the grade. Just like in the second screencast, you would have some decisions to make as to how many points is this worth. Uh, Moodle's default is 100. If you wish to make it only 30 or 50, or the same number of points as the rubric itself is worth, that is totally your choice. But once again, it's the grading method that we have to pay attention to. I will select rubric. There's the rest of the options, and we will save and display this assignment. Here is the menu. This looks familiar. This is the same one that Moodle gave us before. What we're going to do, however, this time, instead of defining a new one from scratch, let's create a new grading form from a template. And since I have already placed a grading form in, if I just check this, I don't even need to enter anything into the search box, although you could if you wish. And we'll hit search. And here are the rubrics that, uh, that Moodle found that I have created already. Here's why it might be nice to make a description or a better descriptive name. Um, so here's the demo rubric I created before. Okay, it tells me all about it. Here's my options. I say, yep, let's use this one. So I will use this link. And Moodle asked me to confirm. Do you want to use this grading form as a template for my new one? That's the idea, so we'll continue. If I wish, I can edit it. And I think I will. So let's edit the current form. And I can do a new a description. Okay. If I wish, I can adjust criteria. I can adjust anything else. If I wish to uh, change any of the uh, the options, I can do that. Otherwise, I will save, and this is ready to use. So, oh, that is the basics of how to import one rubric. Uh, into another assignment so you don't have to keep retyping. There's another possibility and that is uh, a teacher can establish a rubric and they can share it with the entire organization. That means that the Moodle administrator would have to give the teacher who is willing to share rubrics uh, some special roles and some special rights. However, once that has been granted, let's say a department chair wants to uh, share the MLC common writing rubric, that teacher could share it with the organization, and then a teacher could simply import that shared, uh, that shared rubric uh, into the assignment without ever having to retype it. So that's another option as well worth exploring. This one's a bit shorter, pretty straightforward as to how to reuse uh, a rubric that you've already constructed. So thank you for watching.